Here we are at the British Museum, and we are looking at a panel from the palace of the last great king of Assyria, Ashurbanipal. And this story, in this relief, is about the invasion of the Egyptian city of Memphis by Ashurbanipal. And that is surprisingly related to this, an untold story of King Hezekiah. King Hezekiah rebels against the Assyrian king, the grandfather of Ashurbanipal, Sancherib, Sennacherib. And when he, when he rebels against him with an alliance with Egypt, King Sennacherib comes, invades, and destroys most of the kingdom of Judah and fails to attack Jerusalem. And part of the story when he comes to attack Jerusalem is that he is attacked by the king of Cush, Taharqa, Taharqa Melech Cush. And when he hears that Taharqa, the king of Cush, comes to attack him, he, he ends up going back home and getting killed. And his son, Esar Chadon, takes the throne after him. Esar Chadon attempts twice to invade Egypt, fails the first time, and the second time manages to invade Egypt, but he fails to capture Taharqa. And his successor, Ashurbanipal, manages another twice to invade Egypt and to destroy Egypt. And that is the picture that we are seeing when he finally manages to destroy Taharqa. And finally, the connection of Hezekiah, of King Hezekiah, to Egypt. In this seal, a replica of Hezekiah's own seal, we have two very clearly Egyptian symbols. The winged sun disk and the ankh, the symbol of health. What are these symbols doing on a king of Judah's personal seal? He had an alliance with Egypt. There is a clear association with Egypt as well going on here, indicating that the rebellion and the association with Egypt is something you can see in Hezekiah's own seal.